Welcome back everybody to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Part 4. Today we're going to be going over to the second Divine Beast and hopefully taking it down over there. Uh, the Naboris Beast. It's kind of a... It's kind of a weird name to be totally honest for a beast, but we need to get over there and they say we need to get over there using a sand seal So you can either catch your own sand seal down here But I don't think they're as good as the ones you can rent now You can actually rent them down here for like 20 rupees or something like that It's yeah 20 rupees or 50 rupees if you don't have a shield uh, Let's seal the deal. Oh what a joker. So there we go 20 rupees. I don't know how they give this to you I guess Maybe it's just given to you outside. But apparently these are meant to be faster than the ones outside. I'm not really sure if there's a big difference. Uh, but we're going to be heading over here. This is like the only way apparently to get over here. I'm not sure why this is the only way to get over here. I'm pretty sure you could walk. Uh, but these things are so cool. They're actually, they're pretty, whoa. They're pretty hard to control though. You kind of fly around left, right. And we're going to this. So she said this is like a, a sand seal racing area. Uh, how do I get up on this? Oh, can I turn? I need to turn back around. So I, I guess I'm, I'm assuming that we're gonna do a sand seal race. So does this just wait here for me? I guess that just waits there for me. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a sand seal race of some sort. And they must be, they must be at the top of, top of this ledge, or are they? Oh no, actually they might be on the other side. Let's just have a quick look before I start climbing all the way up. So yeah, this Naboris thing is, uh, is, is it? Are they inside? Okay, there is someone inside here. How do, how, do, how do I get inside this building? Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, we can open it up. Hello. Um, despite what the chief said, it wasn't expecting someone as short as you. But the chief must have had the reasons for believing you couldn't fight the divine beast. Yeah, it's probably because we've already destroyed one of them. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout. Oh, okay, she is up there. That's just some some of their scrubs that they're, they're using. Right, so is it the top of this bit or is it... I'm not sure. Let's just climb up this one and have a look. Yeah, she's not up here. She must be at the top top then. We were going in the right way. Can we jump on a ladder from gliding? No. Okay, let's climb up this. And yeah, so I assume we're going to do some kind of seal race or maybe we have to go on a sand seal to actually get over there and get through the dust cloud. I've actually gone into the dust cloud once myself and I just got destroyed. Hey, here she is, the little girl. Um... What a sight. Divine Beast Vam Naboris is pretty intimidating. She looks so stupid with that hat on. I can't believe that's what she wanted to wear. Uh, if we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Feeling confident. Let's go. First, we'll use the sand seals to get really close. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with the bomb arrows. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, uh, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. But it can also shield a limited area around me. Okay, so we get to sit near her. Uh, and that, that stupid helmet is going to shield us. Um, you'd have to stay close. Mm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bombs, bomb arrows. Okay, there aren't many. I'm pretty sure... 20? That's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure I have like 20... Bomb arrows already. Uh, let's just have a look. So, are we going to jump on a sand seal? So, how do we... Can we shoot while on a sand seal? Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? Okay, look. Oh, her sand seal is a beast. Look at that. That thing looks crazy. My name is Ruju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerodo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Van Naboris. Uh, ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call, aid me in this task. Ooh. Okay, so this is the bubble that we can sit in and stay safe from the thunder strikes. So it's actually, it's pretty small. Oh wow, I can feel the power coursing through me. Okay, yeah, that thing still looks stupid on head. Let's move. Right, okay. So... <laughs> My sensei was more than happy. And where? So where is this beast, Lady Urbosa? Please grant Link and me your protection. This is when the thunder probably cracks down, or something like that, or I don't know. Maybe we're going into a thunderstorm. But this bubble looks pretty cool that we're in. Right. Okay, so close in. Oh my god. Uh, slow, slow. Ah, this is so hard. Move, Sand Seal. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. Okay, calmed it down. Calmed it down. So, uh, oh, we can we can use our sand seal and do it at the same time. Uh, and bomb arrows. I've got 90 bomb arrows. Okay, we can just go full on this guy and it should be fine. Why am I getting hurt? Uh, okay, I'm not getting hurt anymore. For some reason, I was getting hurt then. I think when I'm, like, not in the shade or something, I was getting hurt. Oh, my God. Okay. This, this is, uh... This is really hard to keep up because I don't want to dash because if I dash, I go way too far in front. So I need to kind of sit just about here. There we go. This is a good spot. This is a good spot. Where are we going, girl? Where is this big guy? He's just, he's going to pop out of nowhere. But as long as we don't get hit by these thunder strikes, she said we should be okay. Ah, uh, this is really nervy. Can't see where we're going at all. Okay, must be in here somewhere. Like, where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. I, I don't know what it is. Whether I think it's a camel or... Yeah, that looks like a camel to me. And there's the thunder ball on its head. Okay, don't wander off. I'm not, but you just need to stay still, girl. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Now what? Oh, shoot it. Got it. I missed. I really wish this slowed down time or something like that. Am I shooting it? Am I hitting it? Don't I'm not. I'm like way too far away. There we go. We need to fire higher up. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. That foot. Bring that foot back. Huh. Come on. There we go. Yes. So that's one of them down. Let's get this next foot down. We need to get the front feet now. Need to go faster. Huh. Yes. Come on, next foot. I am staying close to you. This is pretty hard, though. Huh. Fire. I'm just firing everything. Yes, there we go. Last foot. We need to get closer to it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah, I did it. There we go. Okay, sweet. That was pretty easy. He hasn't got very good shoes. Definitely not Yeezys. Okay, what, how is he going to fall over? No, because he said he gets his power from the sand. Because he must make some kind of, like, friction, I guess, as he walks. How do we get inside this thing? Unfortunately... I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Okay, so we've got him up and moving, and we were able to jump inside it just as it fell over, uh, which is going to be really handy. So hopefully, we can infiltrate this from the inside. I'm not sure if this is going to be easy or or tough. I I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to be pretty tough, but I, I don't know if it's going to be a puzzle. This one, to me, looks more like it's going to be potentially a big battle of sorts. Or it's going to be... Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so if we put our Sheikah Slate on it, is this going to show us a map of the inside like it did for the last one? Oh, it's a travel gate. So we can now travel straight back into uh, well, well, well. Naboris. It's talking to us. Nice. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Naboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Okay, so it looks very similar to the last one. You've got like a center core there. We need to get over there to there to the map uh, and distill that. Head over to that guidance stone over there. Sounds easy. 
right? That does sound very easy, but for some reason your voice is making me think it's not going to be easy. Uh, I'm just going to use fire arrows. For some reason, I have more arrows than uh, than other things. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why. Can I not pick up this guardian spear? I swear one of my one of my items was like destroyed or nearly destroyed. This one. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to swap you for a spear. I really don't want to swap you for a spear. Okay, so was it straight on or was it behind me? I think it was straight on. Or was it up this up these stairs here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's get on to the inside. Normal arrow. Boom. Open that up, please. That doesn't actually do that much damage to you, so it is fairly easy. Okay. What the heck is this thing? Can I shoot it? Nope. Uh, is it... Let's just try everything. Is it magnetic? No. Okay, can I stop it time? No, I can't. But I can stop something over there. I'm not really sure what this thing does yet. Let's go get that chest. Oh, look at this. We're actually moving, which is really weird. Uh, magnet. Oh, I can get closer. There we go. Come on. Come closer. Can I break this off or... No. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I can't seem to do anything to that just yet. Where are we meant to go then? So... Is it up or is it down? Oh, we're meant to climb up these. Right, here we go. So we can climb up this. Then that looks breakable over there to me. So we can potentially break through that. It's good just to kind of survey the area uh, and see and see what's what, really. Yeah! Oh, sweet. And we get a battle axe. Uh, I'm going to swap something out for this battle axe. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I swear uh, my master sword's glowing. So my master sword is actually going to be really, really powerful here. Okay, we can destroy this with a remote bomb. Let's drop that down. Run away and explode! Nice. And that should pretty much get us there. Like, that that really wasn't... Oh, okay. No, it doesn't. We need to jump over to that. Over here. Oh, we need to do the same thing on the other side. Because, look, that's breakable. But this is the core. So, at least we're at the core. Oh, my God. This Master Sword is so good. Man, it just destroys everything in its path. Okay, I can't climb over there. But can I throw a ball over there? Come on, Link. Oh, what? You dropped it. Don't drop it, Link. Get, get the ball back. Get the, wait, where is it? Okay, we, we still got the ball. There's no way I'm going to throw it over that. No. No. Okay. Right. So we can't throw the ball over there to break down that piece of whatever it is. So I guess I, I could, though. I could potentially throw the ball up here, I think. So let's fly our way back over to this. And I think if we could just detonate it in the air. Hopefully that should should be able to destroy it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be able to destroy this. Okay. Wait for it to spawn back up. Get the ball. Throw it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just a chest. Oh, no, don't. Oh, man, we can't climb up that thing. Really? Come on. I'm Link. I should be able to climb everything. We can't climb that either. I hate... That's the one thing I hate about these puzzles is that in a lot of it, you can't climb up, which is really, really annoying. Okay, so am I going to be able to make it this time? Huh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, what are we getting out of this chest? Give me some arrows or something. Oh, an ancient spring. We, don't, we definitely don't need that. We've got like a, a million ancient springs. Uh, okay. So what have we got? We've got an eye up there. Oops. Not as far away as I thought. What does that do? That does something. And we've got a... Uh, oh, can I can I tilt this Divine Beast? Oh, I probably can once I unlock it. But we haven't unlocked it yet. I think I'm meant to be doing something with this. But I'm not 100% sure what I'm meant to be doing with it. Oh, actually, I can just walk up here. Oh, there we go. I think I was going for... I must have been going for something totally different. I don't think I was going for the map. Uh, I think I was going for actually another distillery thing uh, somewhere. But there we go. We now got the map of the Divine Beast. And I assume that we're going to be able to turn this sideways again like the last one. So that was a lot easier. I think I was trying to solve the next bit of the puzzle uh, when, I, when I really shouldn't have been. So, 
There we go. We've got our Sheikah Slate. And we've got that sorted. Are we going to be able to tilt this Divine Beast? Divine Beast controls. Yeah. Okay. So we can rotate its core uh, 90 degrees. Which is pretty interesting. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabortus are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabortus back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. Okay, so in the same way as the other one, there's probably going to be four different terminals. Uh, of which we need to, like, free it or, or whatever. So, let's have a look. So, the first one, there's two chests up there. So, can I... Let's just play around with turning this thing around. So, if I can... Oh, you can turn them individually. Look at that. That is so cool. So you can turn them individually 90 degrees. Or if you obviously select them like once or twice, you can turn them a couple of times. That is awesome. Okay, do you think I can get to that from over here? Can I climb this? No, okay, I can't climb this. But I can probably get... I can get to it from over here. Uh, so let's climb up this bit. And, oh, look at that. Oh, my God. I have no idea what that's all about, but we'll, we'll definitely go find out. Okay. Right. So, we've got one chest. So, I need to turn the inside 90 degrees. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Don't fall down, Link. Don't fall down. There we go. There we go. Okay, I can now open this chest. Anything good? Knight's bow. Nice, actually. That's pretty good. I think this is right. Did that unlock the door? Yeah, look. That unlocks this door. So. Uh, come on. Come on, Link. Yes. Okay, there we go. So this is some kind of little mini game that I guess we need to work through. That uh, seems to be pretty easy, actually. Uh, run, 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 run. Yeah, there we go. And we could shoot that and get our chest. What are we going to get? Oh, a knight shield. Ah, oh, full of shields. Let's see if I have uh, a bad shield to throw away. These are 40s, but I think that's the same, isn't it? Oh, i got a 25 here. We can drop that for sure. Let's get something out of this. There we go. A 40 shield again. Okay, so let's open this up. But I'm not sure what that's really done. Apparently there's something underneath here. So let's run back. Okay, that's made this really easy for us to kind of run down. So we can just get all the way back through here. Yeah, okay, and watch out for these spikes. Okay, nice. I'm not sure how I'm meant to open that head, but I assume it's to do with linking up all of these uh, all these pathways. So this one up here looks pretty easy to activate. If we just kind of stand on this and rotate this drum... It should allow us to kind of run over to it or at least give us a chance to. Okay, so we're going to have to do like a, a leap of faith. But I'm pretty sure... Ooh, there we go. That is now the first one. Okay, so we completed the first one, which was just rotating this drum and standing on the correct area. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. Okay, only four left. So let's have a look. We've got two more apparently in this drum... But I can't actually, I can't see them unless there's one in there, potentially. Or they, they look like they're actually outside of it. Except there's one more straight in front of me, apparently. Let's turn, let's turn this and just see if we can see it. Because I actually can't see it. Unless it is in that. Okay, where is it potentially, where is it meant to be right now? So it's meant to be, if I'm looking at it like this, it's on the right. So yeah, it, it must be in that. So I think all I need to do is spin it twice if we're sat in this hole. And then I just need to, like, jump through when we see it. I, I'm pretty sure uh, this is the case. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Come on. Something pop up. Yes. There we go. Okay, we're inside. And now we just need to rotate it one more time. And there we go. That's the second one. There's some goo in here. So we've got to be, we've got to be a little bit careful. But that one you just had to go outside for. And that is two of them done. There are three terminals remaining. Oh, there's three remaining. Okay, so there's five on this one. And the others look like they're outside or above. So let's go out and get a better view of it. 
Because, yeah, it looks like we potentially need to use this middle one. So we've used the left one for one. We've used the right one for one. I assume we need to use this middle one to get to a higher location. And then I have no idea how we get that front one. But it's going to be to do with matching up these lines, I think. And, like, firing something through. So let's go outside and have a look at this top one. So we've got up the top and outside... Uh, all you had to do was link those three. You see the three lines at the top of the map on the right? You just had to link those up and it kind of let you have an elevator up here. Uh, which allows us to get to this location. So, I'm not sure what this does. But let's just spin it and see if that does anything. By turning this wheel, we've got one of these up. So, I think if we turn it left, we should move... So, we move this one if we turn left, that one if we turn right... And we basically want to turn these on. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, what is this thing? Oh, my God. That's going to crush me. Watch out, Link. Watch out, Link. Oh, this is just an elevator. Okay, let's jump on this. Uh, or a lift if you're in America, I guess. And up we go. Okay, there we go. So we had to turn those to link them up. And with that, we've powered its huge long neck. And here we go. That was actually pretty easy. So we can link this one as well. Which leaves only two remaining. And they're both, like, at the top there are two of the Divine Beast. Stay focused. So I think either here somehow we can, like, jump across. Let's see if we can jump over here and see if we can see anything. Look, we've got, like, ah, we've got this, which I think somehow we must be able to destroy. I'm looking for an eye. But you can see there as well, there's, like, a, a link thing in the middle there as well. So I assume we've got to go back inside... And link these up to turn something else on. So let's get back inside. So over here on the other side, we have got whatever this device is. So is there something out here that allow us to turn this? Do I have to... Oh, hold on, hold on. I want... These look magnetic to me. Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, so... Can this... This can be moved. Where's the power? Oh, at the top there. So look... So we can move this across... To link that power up. Then this goes across to there. This goes over to there. And then this one can also move across. And that's going to open something else up. Oh my god, what is this? We've got another kind of power thing linking. That looks like it's butt. Oh, okay, we're on... Oh, there's a bomb. How do we get... Aha, here we go. So we've got a ladder... Or oh, some vines <laughs> that we can climb up. And then this goes all the way up and powers something here. But again, this is this is shut by this uh, annoying stuff. Can we climb the side again? We can't climb the side again. So somehow, we must be able to remove this. It, it's probably from the inside we need to shoot something. So let's go back inside. So somehow we need to get inside this building and there didn't look like there was anywhere inside. So what we need to do is get up there somehow. So, oh, I know. So, okay, if we turn off, if we turn this one off, that should lower the tail back down and then hopefully we can go and stand on that ledge. And then hopefully this should, yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is like a little, a power bit. Oh, maybe we're going to stand on this stone. Uh, so let's turn the power back on. Is that going to turn the power all the way on? I think so. It should be moving on the inside there. And then hopefully if that links up... Wait for it. Wait for it. <clears throat> okay, it's not linked. There we go. We've linked. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're on this ledge. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's a beast at the end of this. And then hopefully if we destroy this... I'm not going to use a bomb arrow. Hello, buddy. Boom! Okay, please say you remove all of this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. Now we are inside and we can destroy... Oh, my bow broke. Uh, where is another? I'll just use a cheap bow. Let's destroy this eye. My soldier's bow is badly damaged as well. Oh my god, everything's being badly damaged. Uh, so that's opened this door up. And then... Oh, this looks... I don't know if... Am I meant to, like, walk, walk the... Ah, oh, okay, I'm not meant to walk the plank. So that's obviously, uh, a little tightrope that we need to go across. Okay, so can we... What's down here? Have we been through this before? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, this is a surprise. And you as well, my friend. Goodbye. 
Am I using my master sword? I don't think I'm even using my master sword. Where is my master sword? I'm using the edge. There it is. Glowing. Beautiful. Uh, okay, well, we've destroyed these. So we weren't meant to fall through there. And let's just see if there's anything in here. No, nothing in here. Uh, what is this? Oh, that is... Aha, here we go. We have a ball that can sit on this. And, and oh, that opens that up. Okay. Let's just have a look in here, though, before we, we rush forward. I'm looking for an eye. Hello, eye. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is that going to destroy? Ah, oh, damn it. It didn't destroy that. But we've got a ledge, or we've got an elevator here where an enemy's on. Is there an eye? There might be an eye. Oh, actually, there's an eye over there. Before I do, before I kill this, I'm just going to destroy this eye. You are tucked away well back there, aren't you, my friend? And now we need to destroy this guy. So that opens that up for us, which which is, like, I guess, for easy access accessibility. Accessibility? Is that right? I think that's right. Okay, where is this guy? Come on. Jesus. This is the slowest elevator I've ever seen. Uh, actually, I need to change my bow while we wait. Let's go with uh, let's go with this soldier's bow that has something else on it. I'm not sure. I think that's like maybe faster or something. All right, why why are you not coming down? Am I? Oh no, it is coming down. It is literally just really really slow. Okay, buddy. Hello. Ooh, there's just the damage that this sword does. Let's get that ancient screw. We're going all the way to the top. We're gonna try and get this top one. And there it is! Yes! Okay, we got it. Beautiful. And now we can go back and hopefully get the other one. And that should be good enough for us. Just one terminal remaining. You're Only one remaining. And then we're going to have the uh, the big boss battle. It, it's... Oh, okay. Okay, we're going up again. Oh, hello thing. Is there anything else for me to destroy up here? Nothing else for me to destroy. So I'm just going to try and run across this. Ah, cheeky. And now we can get ourselves a chest. Come on, give me something good. All this work to get up here for Topaz. Oh, okay. Well, that's it's not too bad, I guess. Right. So, this one's below us. This here needs to be lit up somehow. I wonder if I can... No, I can't just hit that with my sword. Where actually is this thing? It's down here. Shall I jump down or shall I go across? Let's have a look. I think I should go down. I've got loads of lifts anyway, so I can come back up. Yeah, I can come back up really easily. So it's something to do this. Oh, there's another ball somewhere. And that should unlock it. So whereabouts is this second ball? We've got one from this side. So there must be something in here. Maybe it's maybe it's up top, actually. Let's, uh, let's go up top. Oh, there's a mouth there. Do I kill a mouth or... Oh, Jesus. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Uh, go. Get, go. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, shoot. I dropped it. Please say that that still works. Uh, there it is. All right. Let's go, ball. Open this up for me and let's say that is that is this complete. Yeah, there we go. Final one. All right. Now we can go back inside and do the final well bit. That was the last of the tournament. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Okay. Take a good look at your map. Okay, main control unit's right in the middle. So we need to go and activate that. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe. Okay, don't be too confident, Link. I don't think we're being too confident. I think Link's Link's a pretty grounded guy. Uh, okay, can I go out this way? I, s I still can't go out this way. What? When did this eye come back? I swear I shot this eye. Come on. Just destroy. That thing's really annoying. All right. Jumping down. And just mine the electricity. Okay. Where is this? Uh, where is this This beast? There it is. It's upside down. So we need to turn the center around. We need to get in it somehow. So let's go. Ugh. Oh, no. Uh, if I stand on the stairs. Okay. Oh, come on. Turn, 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 turn. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay, so this is where we're going to probably start a big old battle. So let's get ready for this and see what comes out when we activate this control unit. Oh my 
god. Thunderblight Ganon. Okay, so it's obviously thunder related. This formidable adversary was made by Ganon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. All right. So they They all have their little weakness. Let's find out what this guy's is. To be honest, I, I think we're probably we're probably going to be able to kill it quite quickly. Um, so against this, I think I might I'll I'll try a bomb arrow and see how that does. Okay, so he's he fires these balls at me. How? Oh Jesus! Whoa! Okay, that was a surprise. So do I just fire at him? That did that did zero damage. Get out of here, punk! Okay, okay, so we need to destroy his uh, shields. How is the Master Sword low on energy? This is a battle against one of the greats. And the Master Sword is like, nah. You know what? You do this. All right, where's he gone? Ah, he's firing at me. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Boom. Take that. Take that. We need to destroy that shield. Oh, oh, so close to dying. Okay. I need to, so I need to dodge, it seems, uh, when he comes at me like that. So let's, uh, let's eat stuff. Let's eat some meat, shall we? I need to eat a load of stuff, actually. I really don't have that much food. Uh, I have, like, a big meal here, but I don't want to eat that yet. We'll save that for a little bit later. And uh, let's also eat some, uh, raw drumsticks. Because apparently you can eat raw stuff in the game. All right, here we go. Go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, punk. Yeah, there we go. Get beaten down. Not so strong after all, are you? Oh, Jesus. But I can't see him. Yeah. No, he's electrocuting me. That electric shock is so deadly. And there we go. Okay, something's happening. Where's he going? All right, he's going to do some kind of special ability. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. What does that mean? I don't know. But, uh... Oh! 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 What the heck are these things? Where even is he? Okay, I'm gonna have to get back up here because I've, I've totally lost him. Uh, there he is. Okay. Oh! So these things do some kind of weird thunder thing. And I assume I need to do something with them. But I'm not sure what. Can I can I do anything to these? I can pick them up. I can pick them up. Come on. Okay, so I think, yes, there we go. So we're meant to throw the, his own things at him. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Come back here, punk. Oh, no, he's shocked me. He's dropped, made me drop my spear. Okay. Oh, this is intense. I'm going to go with that, but I also need to eat, so we need to eat a meal. I haven't brought enough food with me. Come on, Ov, you should have remembered to bring enough food. Yes, there we go. Come back here, punk. Come on. So close. So close. No! Don't do it. Don't do it. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. I dropped my stuff again. This guy's really annoying. I dropped my guardian sword. Let's pick up this. Come on. This is it. This is it. Finish him off, Link. Finish him off. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. One more. No! Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I've dropped another sword. I'm just dropping everything right here. Ugh. Ugh. Move. Ugh. Don't burn. Don't burn, Link. Come on. Okay, right. Food, 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 food. Let's eat. Let's eat. Ugh. Come on, then. Come on, then. Bring it. Yes. Yes. Here we go. That's it. Oh, my God. That was tough. But I think... I think that's him dead. Jesus, that was a tough battle. He made me drop everything. Explode, please. We love the explosion. And so satisfying. Goodbye.
And there we go. Another heart container. And it is open for us to go take. So, let's do this. Oh, no, I need to go pick up all my weapons. If I've dropped, like, my Master Sword, I think I'm going to cry. Great. Another heart container. Yeah, 15 heart containers. That is looking crazy cool. Right, I need to go get my spears and stuff before they, uh, before they all despawn. Yeah, let's just pick all of this up. Is that everything? I think so. Yeah, that looks like everything. Okay. Moving on. Let's go do this. And that is it. Divine Beast conquered. We don't want to re-enter it. Let's activate. And let's do this. So that is the second Divine Beast complete. We are well on our way to go and defeat, defeat Calamity Ganon in the castle and hopefully save or help Zelda or whatever we have to do with that. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free and Nobotos is ours once again. Which means that finally we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Um... <laughs> Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh. And also, take good care of Hyrule. Legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboris? 
The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Garuda. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. 